I wouldn't go for a single day from nine to five for anybody, for anything. I might die, but I wouldn't do that. The speaker has said that human society is so constructed throughout the world that most people are occupied with jobs, pleasant or unpleasant, from nine to five every day of their life. And he said also that it is an intolerable imprisonment. There's a word that's used much more than it's understood. As counselor here at our school, I get to hear and see a great deal about work and what it means. Good work, fair work, poor work. I'd like to tell you about a certain student who was here about five years ago. His experience has important meaning for you. When Frank Taylor started in his first real job, he had only a vague idea about work, his responsibility to his employers, and to himself. But suppose we let Frank tell his own story. It all started with a sign in the window of Canfield Shoe Store. Sounded good, a chance to earn money for some of the things I wanted. So I talked to Mr. Canfield. We got along all right and, well, I got the job. It wasn't bad for a week or so, but then I began to get bored. It was just put shoes away, day after day. Put shoes away, put more shoes away. Nothing ever broke the routine. All I did was put shoes away. And then the pay I got, huh. That wouldn't buy many of those things I wanted. The shoe business was no good. Every day, someone, somewhere, learns that more money and more satisfaction are the result when you stop thinking about just the job and begin thinking about work. I don't know how you feel about it. Probably you like being in prison. Probably you liked your jobs. From, from nine o'clock to five o'clock, rushing, rushing back and all the rest of it. What shall we do? To the speaker, he wouldn't tolerate it for a single minute. For the speaker, I'd rather do something which would be pleasant, helpful, were necessary to earn enough money and so on. But most of us accept this prison, this routine. Right? We accept it. So what shall we do? Nobody as far as one is capable of sufficient, efficient observation, nobody has questioned this. We have say it is normal, it's the way of society, it's the way of our life, it's the way we must live. But if we all see together that such an imprisonment which is, it is actually, and that we all feel this is intolerable, not just verbally but actually, do something about it, we'll create a new society, right? We will, if all of us say we will not tolerate for a single day this routine, this monstrous activity of nine to five, however necessary, however good and pleasant, then we will bring about not only psychological revolution but also outwardly. 
right? We, we may agree about this, but will we do it? You might say, no, I can't do it because I have responsibility. I have children, I have a house and mortgage, insurance. Thank God I haven't got any of those. <laughs> and so you might say, well, it's easy for you to talk about all this, but it's easy for the speaker to talk about it because he refuses to go in that pattern. From boyhood he refused it. Now, if we all consider that such a psychological as well as physical revolution of this kind, not bloody and all the rest of it, then we will create a quite a different society, won't we? So, you want others to create the society and you can then slip into it. That's what we are all waiting for. Few struggle, work, create and refuse to entered into this rat race, and the others say, yes, after you have constructed that what you think is the right society, then we'll all join you. But we don't do it together. That's the whole problem. Right? If we all had this not idea, the fact that to spend our life from morning, from nine o'clock to five o'clock, probably before that, every day of our life for sixty years and more, we would do something about it. Like as if you refuse to have wars. Of you understand wars, killing other people in the name of the, your country or God, your whatever the ideal is. If we all refuse to kill another, there would be no wars, right? But we have constructed a society, built a society based on violence. armaments, each nation protecting itself against other nations, and so we are perpetuating wars, killing your, your sons, your daughters, everything, and we support it. In the same way we support, maintain this imprisonment. May be pleasant for those who have an agreeable job, but those who refuse to enter this game, they will act, they will do something. So the problem is do we see the importance or the necessity of this change? After all, human mind is not merely occupied with a particular job, pleasant or unpleasant. Human mind has, is, has the quality of other things which we disregard. We are concerned with the whole of life, not just career, nine to five, how we live, what we do, what our thinking is, whether there is affection, care, love, compassion, all that is part of life. 
And so, but we are so conditioned to this idea that we must work and create a structure of a society that demands that you work from morning till night. The speaker refuses to play that, enter that rat race. It isn't that he has got certain gifts or that he, somebody will look after him, but he refuses to enter it. I wouldn't go for a single day from nine to five for anybody, for anything. I might die, but I wouldn't do that. In the same way, I wouldn't kill another human being, whatever the circumstances. I know all what you're going to say about if your sister is attacked, you know, all that game. Because violence produces more violence. You're seeing that. I but we are all so timid, we're all so nervous, frightened, anxious. We want comp- the security which we think we have, which we haven't got. So will you go into this? And find out if you can free yourself from that rat race and to find out one must exercise capacity, intelligence, not say, I won't do it. You don't do it because you are intelligent, not because you are told or you have read in some book or some philosopher. I think it's very clear. And also, the question asks, is case teachings therefore only for the few? This is one of the questions that is asked over and over and over again. What do you think? If it is for the few, it's not worth it. It means just go slowly. The speaker says it's for everyone. But everyone is not serious. Is not has got the energy because it's dissipating in all various ways. And so gradually there are very few. You follow? So observing it say it's only for the few. Whereas well, is actually if you apply go into it seriously with a spirit of investigation and wanting to live a different kind of life, it is for everyone. There is nothing secret about it. But there is great mystery if you go beyond the limitation of thought. But we don't do any of these things. We don't test it out. We don't apply. We don't eat the food that's put before us. And the few that eat it say we are the elite. They actually are not the elite. They are only the serious people that have applied, thought about it, gone into it, applied seen that it all it affects their daily life 
It's only that then one create, one can create a different kind of society. Thank you for watching. If you can, please donate to support my work. You can also download my music on Bandcamp and donate that way. You can choose however much you'd like to buy my albums for. You can even download them for free. All the links are in the description.